Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jack Chunk here and today we are going to do yet another property review. It is Ken Winston's flat at Setapa. So I'm not sure if I got that right. Uh, Ken Winston Flats. Yeah. So this is along the very busy Jalan Gomba. If you go all the way down, you will merge towards Jalan Genting Klang and from there you can head down towards HKL, Pekililing. Yeah. On this side, I basically have KL Trader Square. So going back to this Kensington Platz, uh, you have three towers, A, B, C. But what's interesting about these three towers is actually all connected, like a twisted letter L. It's not three distinctive towers. Bottom here, you have retail lots, a total of 12 retail lots. And it's extremely nice to see that it's totally occupied, tenanted, and tenanted with quality tenants. You have a grocer at the bottom here, Mami Zuzu Grocer, taking up four lots if I'm not mistaken. You got a Mr. Paint Shop. Mr. Paint Shop to me is the best paint shop uh, that I always go to for all my paint needs. Yeah, Whenever I have a new unit or I need to touch up, Mr. Paint Shop. Price wise, to me, they are the cheapest. And then at the corner there, you basically have a mama. So, <laughs> extremely good setup, uh, lineup. Again, you're hungry, you got food to eat, you need to do groceries, you can come down to do groceries. Open 8.30 all the way to 1 a.m. Extremely, extremely convenient. Even longer operating hours than Tesco or Lotus. Yeah. So yes, uh, without further ado, okay, no, wait. I haven't talked about the units. So there are a total of 849 units. Facilities is on the 10th floor. You can see this part here. As usual, uh, from 1 all the way to 9th is your car park. And above it, you have 849 units. You have a total of four layouts. The smallest is 650 square feet. That's a two bedroom, two bathroom unit. And the largest is 1,010 square feet. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, also a dual key unit. For the largest one, uh, that unit, you only have it in Tower A. While B and C are the smaller units. So the entrance to the residence is via this site. Here, yeah, this side road. So, without further ado, let's head in. This is the entrance. It's rather noisy because you have that huge, big ass fan from the grocery. This part is a bit tricky because it's a blind corner. And all cars, vehicles coming out from the development turns around this blind corner. You have a mirror here, but yeah, just to think, no, no, it's a bit tricky. It can be a bit dangerous. Yeah. This is space for your kindergarten, uh, but they are currently using it for VP purpose. And this is your guard post. Also your security room, as you can see. So let's head in. So we've gotten in through this security post. Two ins, one out. So going out might be a challenge. This is the drop-off lobby. So for owners or tenants, if they want to park, right, what they do is they go around here, they go towards the back and they can turn up to the car park. Big nice water features, uh, left and right. And then all this. So this whole part is open. Uh, there's no second level of security where you need to tap into the lobby here. You have to tap when you enter into your lobby itself. So this is Block C, a management office is there. Security post. And that is uh, block B and block A. Okay. So let's head up. Management office, restroom. So the unit that we are going to review today is in the mid floors. Oh. 
notice how it lights up and the leaves open. Let's go up. Stepping out of the lift, we are on the 25th floor. This is right smack in the middle of this 50 story building. You have four lifts actually to serve each floor, uh, and that's quite decently generous given that you only have seven to eight units on a floor. And this space itself also is quite, quite generous. So this door leads to the walkway. Layout is very straightforward. One straight single walkway, six feet wide. So the unit that we are going to review today is a two bedroom, two bathroom. This is a type C at 650 square feet. Right at the entrance, you will notice it's a bit tight. There's no space at all to do a shoe cabinet. So it's only space for your grill. Oh, look. Nice. So all the switch are by Siemens and this is a very nice series where you have it uh, rounded rounded edges. So I'm just stepping in. Very traditional layout uh, where you have your dining, your living, and this side is your kitchen area. Your DB, they do it flush, single face. This is how you tell it's a single face. So we start with the kitchen area. Kitchen area is rather tight, and even this part here, because you can't put your shoe cabinet outside, so if you do a shoe cabinet, you'll be this part, which is really a little bit tight in my opinion. Uh, I'll probably extend it a little bit here, or maybe even further depending on the kitchen needs. So let's check out the kitchen. So outside is the yard area, there's not enough space to cook, it's just for your washing machine. Or wash the dryer, that's it. Just nice, just clears this space here. So you only have space here basically. Water outlet, inlet, power on your washing machine and or wash your wash dryer. And outside here, that's where you have your icon latch. You've got two pipings, aircon pipings here and another one would be at the master bedroom or master toilet rather, master bathroom what I like about this developer is that they've actually taken the effort to do this hook, safety hook yeah. so yeah, you know this is a proper safety hook you know if the aircon installers, you know, they want to tie their harness too, right? they can tie it there usually you don't have that and what they do is they'll secure it with this you, know, you open and you secure to this type of window frames which is actually not safe yeah why because actually the around the shit the edges around here are sharp so if let's say they really take a fall the ropes will brush against this and you damage the rope if that rope isn't that good you know then that's where you know you would really cut into the rope and yeah in charge is dangerous this is not the proper way uh, you should use these type of hooks which the developers provided Okay, so going back to the kitchen. So this is where you do everything. You put your hood and hob, you put your sink and you put your fridge. You can't put it here because there's no space. Uh, and it would be weird to put it here because there's no power point and it be jutting out, eating into the dining space. So the way I see it, you would likely put it at this corner. Or like what I was saying, this isn't long enough, right? So I'll personally extend this a little bit longer, maybe up until here, so it's flush. Then you do a slightly longer shoe cabinet, and then do an L-shaped kitchen cabinet. Otherwise, if you use as it is, then it's here, taking up two feet, and this balance, very, very tight, five feet for your hood hop, for your sink. Oh, interestingly enough, I'm not sure why there are so many 
water inlets. You got a total of three. One, two, three. Hmm. You use only one. Inlet, outlet, your sink probably is this area. But what about those two? Okay, maybe uh maybe oh there's no water outlet also then again. I was thinking about your dishwasher. Hmm, interesting. Okay, uh never mind, let's continue on. So yes, this is the dining area. So you have ready uh icon points and piping. There is an optional furnishing package to take. So if you take that then yes the developer would install the icons, you know. They'll, they'll maximize and use it already, not leaving it exposed like this. Fan hook here, no fan hook there towards the living room, towards the dining room, sorry. This is your fiber termination point, TV point. This is your balcony. So you basically get a view that is uh, looking towards Sento. Yeah, that's towards Sento. Uh, this is Duke Highway. And that direction will basically head towards Batu Caves. This is the Sento Pasa Toll Plaza. And this part here is actually Block B. So I was mentioning right at the start of my video, this is actually a long connected uh, building. No, it, it is not individual distinctive blocks, but rather join or conjoined back to back actually. This is the lift lobbies. So if you stand here, this part, yeah, you get some privacy where the other units can't really uh, look into your unit. Not much. Here, let's step in. Interesting layout uh, for this two bedroom, two bathroom. The washroom is here. The conventional ones, the more common ones, would have to have your. They will have your bedroom here, your guest bathroom, like this, and then this side is your master bedroom, and your master bathroom will be on the far end inside. By side by side, you get the toilet. Uh, and that's easier to do because of the waterproofing and so on where they put their protective sheet, a waterproof sheet it's always good or easier to do when you have it side by side in your bathrooms uh, so we're into sanitary wear the water closet too by the Sorrento it's quite big I would say, this toilet sizable slightly bigger than normal Normal one I would say is probably four feet. Yeah, four feet. And this a little bit bigger than expected. This picture wall is funny. I, I, I like these tiles again, personal opinion. I like these tiles. Looks much nicer. Can you see? Yeah. As opposed to this like feature wall tile. I'm better off having this on there. Shower, uh, water heater point. See the door frame goes all the way to the top. The height is approximately 10 feet, I would say, of this. Not the tightest, if you want to see real tight ones, right? You can check out one of my videos, uh, the properties in Bukit Jale, Paraiso. So this is the gas bedroom. Quite big. Two panels. A fan hook. Yes, an aircon point just above the door. This looks up to the walkway. So again, we are to 25th story. 
all the way up, right in the middle. And this is the master bedroom and the bathroom. I'll say the size is rather similar actually for both bathrooms, regardless if it's the master or the guest. Shorento, Shorento, that is similar. Water point, electrical point for your water heater. And this is your window. That's also where you have your icon latch for your. Uh, I'm not sure if this is for the master or for the living room. And again, uh, you have your hook here, the safety hook. So nice. Uh, yeah, safety is very important. So it's a bit squarish. So that is a very nice spot. You've got a long nice wall because you don't have your toilet or toilet uh, door there, right? So you can utilize this whole side for your wardrobe. And then a bit can be this side or this side. But this side is a bit short. So you are probably this side. And so you have a power point there for your bedside table, left and right. Maybe, maybe even a short part for a study table. Aluminium casement windows. Uh, quite decent, I would say. Uh, yeah, I mean the view. Quite a nice, relaxing view. You don't get to see a KL Tower though, or any of the four towers. That's the facility down there on level 10. Uh, all this low rise. View of uh, Block B. So it's connected. I'm sure you can see, but yes, it's basically connected. Three blocks, but all of them are connected. Reminds me of this project in Old Tang Road, Titanium OUG. Okay, so that sums up the review of this unit. If you're interested to get a unit here, uh, please do reach out to Joanne, a uh, very young but bubbly talented agent, uh, one of the nicest that I've met. Now that we're finished reviewing the unit, let's check out the facilities. Let's go! Stepping out of the lift, we are on the 49th floor, which is the Sky facilities. Interestingly enough, 49th is actually the highest floor for Block C. Uh, there's no level 50, you can't go to level 50. Level 50 already, there's no lift exit on level 50. So, hmm. And even inside the lift itself, right, there's actually a level 50 button, but as I said, uh, there's no level 50 exit for the lift. So, for this facilities floor, uh, on the highest floor, it's actually all connected between A, B, C. You know, like what I was mentioning, this building, right, this Kensington Platz is one whole long building that's connected together. So here you have an open stage. Ah, the plants are not doing too well. The owners, tenants, whoever's thinking it should push for the management to really maintain this. What a waste. Oh, look nice. Still got a very nice long uh, viewing terrace looking to the bottom. Yeah, see? Sitting positions. Nice lounge. And look at that. It's 50 story above. Probably this is the longest 
see-through walkway for our residential building. All the way down. Okay, uh, let's talk about the view. So at this higher elevation, right, you actually can see a Gombak River there. And that's the Duke Highway that I was talking about. It is a bit high, I need to probably lower it to point out. Yes, so that is Duke. And can you see this is actually Gombak River? On that side there is easier to see. Ah, this side you can see your four towers. Not from the unit, but yeah, from here you can see. That looks much more interesting. So let's hit there. So we have to go through the block B lobby. Interestingly enough, for this floor B and C, it's level 50. But for Level C, no, 49 is the highest. Then you take the small ramp. So even the grass here aren't doing too well. <laughs> and a pity. This is still very new, you know, this development. There's a two caves. Manjaran Titi Wangsa at the back. Very quiet. Lovely Sunday, Saturday morning. sitting areas it's a pre-function area and yes your bbq and they separate it again uh, non-halal and halal look at this nice concrete architecture nice this is nice but unfortunately, you have to book uh, to rent or use, and it's locked. But if you notice, right, it's basically floor to ceiling glass panels all around, all four. Of course, this side, you actually have doors, and all these are doors, yeah? You can actually open all of them, so you can imagine the uh, in-out into this space. And look inside, it's just surrounded by glass panels right up to the ceiling for sitting and you got an island there you know, with a with a sink quite nice unfortunately it's locked so we'll not be able to check it out ladies okay we can check out the gents and see how it is oh, the gents is just beside Yes, you, so you have uh, internet connectivity all around. Uh, this being uh, for this floor, uh, the Freshtel internet provider, small ISP provider. And this is the Gens. Oh look, this is rare. Uh, this is basically a lightning strike counter. It basically measures, so every time there's a lightning strike, right? You, you see this, uh, okay, I'm not sure if you're supposed to touch this, but this is basically the metal strip that connects this whole, uh, you see there? 
those are all are my lightning strike connectors, lightning strike rods. Again, as uh, mentioned a few times, it's always at the top of the buildings, you know, whenever the lightning strikes, it's all connected and it channels all this uh, current, this surge big current down to the, uh, to the earth. And basically this lightning strike counter just counts the number of lightning strikes, the, the event, the time, date, time, you know, the details of this lightning strike. Yeah, basically to monitor the lightning. So yes, uh, that's that's it for these facilities on the highest floor. Uh, Disney nice, I would say. I particularly like this uh, big, huge visitors lounge. This function hall is really nice and it's surrounded 360 degrees with all glass. Uh, and this big, huge pre-function space, right? This BBQ is lovely. You know, it's open air, you know, it's covered. You got a lot of space, you know. Uh, if you want to have an event, you can easily put here your tables, chairs, you know. Uh, have games, concrete uh, BBQ pit and the flooring to match it. Okay, now that we have uh, finished this facilities floor, let's head down to the main facilities floor and that's on level 10. Let's go! We are on level 10, the main facilities floor. Very grand lobby here. As with most developments, uh, it's always a very nice lobby on the main facilities floor. And this is double volume for this one. So we'll start by... Let's visit this one. This is the sports complex. So what you have here... Okay, they're doing some uh, repair works. But this is basically the futsal Court. Yeah, this is the Futsal Court. And this area heads towards the playground. Okay, before we go to the playground, let's head up here. So downstairs, besides the futsal court, it's also a basketball court. Basically a two-in-one. See how it's all connected, right? Block A, Block B, Block C. If you have to look from this side, there's actually no, uh, no gap. It's joined all, it's joined. garden okay. okay I'll skip this part continuing on uh, this is the playground so although this playground uh, this indoor playground is a bit it's not the lowest it's still quite a decent height it's a bit dark uh, but it's quite sizable in terms of the space. I'm not sure what are these. Are these aircon pipings? It'd be weird if it's aircon pipings. Okay, no, that is for the outdoor unit. Uh, so I think there are some lots behind here, retail lots. Children's playground. So it's quite sizable uh, in terms of the space. some there also quite a nice breeze you know quite quite spacious I would say you know, no tall buildings around here yeah, this part
this looks like the kids wading pool area and yes you have basically two one kiosk I think two kiosks if I'm not mistaken yeah Quite decent. Uh, better than I expected. Jacuzzi. Still fair bit of works being done. Uh, again, VP not too long ago. Ooh, nice. <laughs> And that's the gym. Okay, you can check out the gym first. So basically, this is a a path and you walk down, and then you come out from the other end. This gym is sizable, but. The thing with this gym is that it's too empty to my liking. So you notice, right? There's really not much here. Again, you have huge space, but yeah, it's it's sort of bare, if I may say so, right? And then you, at that side there, you got some outdoor power costs. But this gym itself, big space, but yeah, <laughs> equipment lacking somewhat. all covered up there's no aircon here so it's a bit stuffy for this part here unlike inside the gym you have aircon if there's no vent this part has no ventilation crazy okay there's a fan there but if there's no aircon right I think they should have just opened this up you know make it indoor outdoor sort of concept so you can at least get the natural breeze So let's continue on. Uh, okay, maybe from this view we can take a look at the site. Not sure if I want to travel to the bottom there, but yes, basically this is the path. Walks around. You can do your stretches. And yes, I think that sums up the facilities. Uh, not much on this floor. Yeah, uh, washroom. Okay, maybe just one glance at the washroom. This washroom, uh, they incorporate the indoor outdoor type of concept. Okay, here it's open, you got plants and here are your cubicles so natural ventilation yeah, to help this is supposed to be a jogging trail here around uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how, how is it even a jogging trail uh, but that's what they're calling it. Okay, so yes, that sums up the review of Ken Winston Platts. Uh, what do you think about this development? Uh, very unique, you know, building, you know, the way it's connected, three buildings, right? Uh, and then for the, for the unit itself, I would say pretty normal, you know, nothing really, uh, nothing really outstanding per se. Uh, if you ask me, it's really those small minor details. But will it matter to the, you know, to the owner, to the tenant? You know, you got your Siemens 
switches, you got your safety hook to install your aircon. That's about it. Uh, location is decent. Uh, you are close to Duke Highway. You can easily access into Duke Highway. But you talk about LRT train station, it's quite far. I think the nearest train station is 3-4 kilometers away. Uh, certainly nothing nearby. Okay. So yeah, if you're interested to get a unit here, please do reach out to Joanne. Her contacts is below in the description. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do smash the like button. Do subscribe to the channel. Thank you and see you in my next video. Bye!